Hello and welcome to another video. So this question is about adding terms of a sequence together, which means this is a series, but we don't know if this is an arithmetic series or it's a geometric series. Um, and also the series doesn't even start from the beginning. It starts when n is equal to five. So this simply means we're gonna be adding um, terms together but we're not starting from the beginning of the series, we're starting from the fifth term, okay? And they want us to evaluate this. We, we wanna add the, the fifth term to the sixth term to the seventh term until we get to the 100th term. And the good thing about this question is they have given us what we call the explicit formula. The explicit formula is the formula you just need to use when you wanna know any term. If you want to know the first term, just plug in n equals 1. You want to know the second term, plug in n equals 2. Remember, we don't know if this is going to be a geometric series or it's going to be just an arithmetic series. So we want to test it. Let's just find the first few terms or find some consecutive terms that you can work with. But I would rather just find the missing terms, the first four terms and the fifth term, and I can tell if it's going to be arithmetic or geometric. Let's see. So, um, let's look for the first term, okay? A1, A1 is gonna be three multiplied by one, okay, minus two, and that's gonna be one. Let's look for A2. A2 is gonna be three multiplied by two minus two, and that's gonna be six minus two, that's four. Okay, what about A3? A3 is gonna be um, three multiplied by three minus two, that's gonna be seven. Oh, you're beginning to see the pattern now. It doesn't look like we're multiplying by something. It looks like we're adding something. Okay, let's just finish this up. What about A4? A4 is going to be 3 multiplied by 4 minus 2. That's 12 minus 2, and that's going to be 10. And A5, which is where we're starting from, A5 is going to be um, 3 multiplied by 5 minus 2, which is going to be 13. So you see now that we can see that there's a constant addition, there's a common term, there's a common difference. So the common difference is basically the difference between this term and the preceding term, okay? So this formula is what you call the explicit formula. This one is called the explicit formula. Okay, that's the explicit formula. Okay, um, and now that we've established that there's a common difference, so we can see that the common difference, okay, um, usually it's usually a n minus a n minus one. You can plug in any n for anything. Okay, so your common difference, if it's a, if it has a common difference, right now we can say is equal to a n minus a n minus one. So it's just the difference between two consecutive terms. So you can pick any n and plug it in as long as you make it will make sense since you can use one. So we might use two or we can just use five and four. Okay, so you can say that the common difference will be um, d and that will be equal to a five minus a four, which would be what is a five? a five is 13, a four is 10. That gives us three. So our common difference is three. And remember, our task is to add a bunch of terms together so that we can arrive at the, the, um, the terms from 5 to 100. Okay, from n equals 5 to 100 of 3n minus 2, this is the same thing as adding everything, the entire um, series, the first 100 terms, okay? So you say the first 100 terms minus the first four. That would be the total that you're gonna have if you're starting from five. So you can take this option minus the sum of A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4. Okay, we can do this individual addition because we already calculated them, okay? Or it's gonna be the sum of the first 100 minus the sum of the first four. So you can say it's S100 minus S4, okay? 
the sum of the first four. That also works. But because we already computed them, I just wrote them out individually. Okay? Um, so the formula for the first n terms of any arithmetic sequence, okay, Sn is equal to n over 2 into um, 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Okay? That is the formula for the first n terms of an arithmetic sequence. Remember I said we could write this as the first four terms. So it's the first 100 minus the first four is what gives you the fifth up to the 100th. So let's decide to just take the sum of the first 100 terms using this formula. That's going to be 100 over 2 into um, 2 times the first term. The first term that we have is 1, 2 times 1 plus n minus 1. Remember our n in this case is 100. It's going to be 100 um, minus 1 multiplied by the common difference which we obtained here, which was 3. Okay, now we're going to subtract the sum of the first four terms. Well, remember that the sum of the first four terms, if you take this sum of the first four, is going to be 22. Okay, well, you can either, since we spent time working this out, we know it's going to be 22, but you could also use the formula to obtain it if you didn't work it out individually okay so you could as well just say it's gonna be you say the same formula it's gonna be 4 over 2 in this case not 100 multiplied by 2 times 1 plus um, you're gonna have n minus 1 that's gonna be 4 minus 1 times 3 okay that's 4 minus 1 times 3 so that's what you have and let's evaluate this is gonna lead us to 50 into Two, this is going to be 2 plus, that's 99 times 3, okay? Minus, this is going to be 2 into 2 plus 3 times 3, okay? So, this gives us um, 50 times, now 2 plus, 99 times 3 is 297, 297 plus 2 is 299, Ooh, that's 2, 9, 9. Okay, minus, this is 9 plus 2, 11 times 2, that's 22. You see? 22, 22. Okay. So if we multiply 50 by 2, 9, 9, well, there's a good trick, okay? You, what you want to do is, firstly, divide. Anytime I multiply by 5, I just divide the number by 2. And if I divide this by 2, I'm going to get... 1, 4, 9, 5, and then remember that there's a 0 that I didn't use, and that's going to be it. Well, you want to practice dividing. Remember, if you multiply 5 by 60, you're going to get, what would you get? What is half of 60? It's 30. Just put a 0, add a 0 to it. That's 300. So that's the quick trick I use when I multiply by 5. It always works. And then I take out 22. Okay? So I'm going to get the sum. Okay, from n equals 5 to 100 of 3n minus 2, this series is going to give me, if you take um, 22 away from 50, you're going to get 28. So it's 1, 4, 9, 2, 8. That is the sum. Ooh, I almost destroyed the answer. That looks really cool. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, don't stop learning. Because those who stop learning have stopped living.